Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba laptop. This one is a Toshiba Tecra or Tesra, however you want to spell that one. The model is a C50-C and the product number will be a PS571U. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can replace the keyboard or how you can remove it if you need to. And these keyboards are not repairable, so pretty much they have a little tiny uh, mesh in it. So is once you drop a water or something on it, and they like a cancer, they will start like increasing, and the less key start working every time. So you pretty much you want to replace it. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart and how to replace it. It's really easy. You can do this at home. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down, and you want to remove the battery. So. Go ahead and remove the battery. Once you remove the battery, now what you need to do is to remove the bottom cover. This cover was removed before somewhere else and because I'll say that they have uh, four long screws. One long screw has to be between, beside the battery right in these two places. And the second, third and fourth large screw, now I placed them right in here because I'm not gonna risk it to placing somewhere else that can penetrate towards the keyboard, towards anything else. So if you guys can help me in the comment area to let me know the third and the fourth longest screw where are located so we can place it in the correct place. But for now you can put them by the hinges which there will be no harm done. So that is, is good. And the short screw is there to hold the whole thing together. So don't worry about it. All right, I'm gonna use a screwdriver set and I fix a screwdriver set, Phillips number one, and we're gonna start removing the screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the longest screws that I know where they are, one right there, and one right beside it, here. You can do your own screw organization, you can put the long one on one side, just take a picture where they go and the short one in a different pile and keep them in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the screws down here. Also, if you guys like my videos, my videos are helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous help and support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, just double check, make sure you haven't missed any. I missed two right here. Always double check your screws. And we're gonna remove the DVD drive by pulling it back. We're gonna use a guitar pick for the opening tool. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable for this job. And we're gonna stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that right there and all you need to do is just twist it like this and it will come out pretty easy you want to work yourself all around in the front end go to the side by the VGA once you do the front end and the side you want to just grab it and wiggle it around and it will release the back side and there we have it once we remove this one here the flex cable for the keyboard is right here, so we need to disconnect this one by pulling this two jack backward towards the front end of the laptop at one millimeter. You don't want excessive push, just a little bit. And then you want to slide the keyboard backward. Now we need to open up the laptop gently. Put it in this position. Now we're going to remove the keyboard from the bottom side upward. Just put it right there, opening tool, right in the corner, right on the bottom, and just twist it upward. There's a tiny cleft that are getting loose. That's all you want to do. Once you remove that one, let me see, I think there's a tiny screw that I missed in this side. So there's a screw right there, I believe. No, there should be no more screws. It might have an adhesive because I can see the keyboard right in here. I can push it. So, and the fan screw right in here is not holding it. So I'm pretty sure it's not 
Just gonna remove it, but I'm sure the fan screw is not doing anything for the keyboard, but I'm gonna remove it. No need to, I'm just gonna put it back together. I see it. So there's this right there. I can see the keyboard that coming loose from here. So we're gonna go ahead and see how we're gonna remove it. So I'm gonna pretty much grab it from the middle. Bring it up, the tiny hooks on the side. Have a little tiny hooks on the side too. Under here too, the tiny, tiny hooks. Lift it up. The hook in the front, it already went back to its place. So lift it up, bring it up, and the keyboard should come out pretty easy. Now the flex cable, it's running through here. And I don't like this because this is going to be a hassle because the flex cable is going right under the uh, motherboard. So I have to remove the motherboard to get to the keyboard. So we need to remove the motherboard to get to this cable, cable right in here because it goes right, right underneath. So I'm going to close it down. And we need to remove the whole thing, the whole motherboard to just replace the keyboard. That's just a idiotic thing to do but we are gonna do it for the heck of the video so we're gonna grab a tweezers we're gonna disconnect the cable for the hard drive pull it out and lift up the hard drive put it to one side you don't want to drop that unhook the lock right in here 90 degree upward and slide back the, the flex cable we're going to remove the fan by removing one screw and lift up the fan and pull the jack backwards so you unhook it from here uh, we're going to lift up this lcd cable right here upward so you can disconnect it untangle it from here from the side of the fan and you want to untangle the fan right through the cable Bring it up. This connector, I'm gonna leave it for now in here. So we're gonna remove this tape over Wi Fi so we can unhook the cables. The speaker cables right in here. And this one is for the RJ45 internet cable. Disconnecting those and the BIOS battery right in the front in here. You don't, don't disconnect the BIOS battery. First, let's leave it there. Lift up the, the lock 65 degree upward. So lift up the lock in here, slide the cable back. Just lift up the battery, bring it, leave it on top. You don't want to remove it, otherwise it's going to reset the BIOS. In here, this uh, LC, this cable here, it has no lock. You just have to slide it outward, bring it out, just slide it. And we need to remove the screw for the Wi-Fi because it's holding towards the motherboard. This one uses a Phillips number double zero. I believe not. It's actually not holding it. I see where it comes from. So let's put the Wi-Fi screw back on. The hidden screw is right under this sponge right in here. So remove this sponge, you don't need them actually. It's not doing anything, the sponge right in here too. Switch to a Philip number one and remove the screw right under the sponges right there. Uh, right over here once you remove those the motherboard should come out pretty easy i didn't disconnect the power jack so i'm just going to bring it over and there you can see the flex cable for the keyboard so as a little plastic rip this plastic away so make sure it goes right on top just like that and there we have it so pretty much I can just feed it right through here back that way 
and then put the key motherboard down and open it up slowly and there we have the keyboard on the bottom side ready so there's your keyboard let's say that you got the new keyboard in all you need to do is to put it down in the same position set it down with the flex cable you want to fit the flex cable through the connector right through here and you want to close it make sure it comes all the way down you don't have to run this cable and uh, this tape over doesn't make any difference going over or under so i'm going to actually leave it under like this and first we're going to put the motherboard back down put the io side make sure the cables are not underneath all this flex cable has to be on top put the bios run the cable for the bios in its place okay double check everything is in place the audio jack everything in here it's in place put the screws not this one put the screws for the motherboard in here and in here you do not need to put these sponges on, on back on but if you do want them just put it but it's pretty much very useless next what you want to do you want to run the cable for the power jack first right underneath here and then run the power the flex cable right in the same groove and set it down put the one screw for the fan and put the lcd connector right in its place just snap it on place correctly it should make a tiny click put the fan connector right through the jack squeeze it right in there make sure this one has to go underneath here there we have it again these tiny sponges in here i don't like them but they just get loose after a while they can get sucked into the fan so i just don't put them just leave them like that it's not going to happen anything as long as it's not over the screw holes you're fine then first let's go put the rj45 connector slide it right into the speaker cable and then the wi-fi cables come straight and snap them on they just snap on you have to align them evenly and then you want to click on them and that's it make sure the, the cable does not go over the screw holes and it's in place all right let's put the flex cable for this bridge usb bridge right in here slide it right in there and lock it down this one right in here you want to slide it there's nothing in here i'm going to use a little tweezer to help to slide right through there put the side open up the lock slide the flex cable right in there and lock it down make sure the cable goes in is straight and once we have all this set we're gonna put the flex cable for the keyboard make sure the lock is a little pushed forward bring the flex cable slide it right in there make sure it's nice and snugly right there and then pinch the locks back together bring this uh, ground lock back forward towards the ramp and that's it grab the hard drive place the hard drive right in here the hard drive cable has a little ear lobes on the side so it has to go in 45 degree towards the jack all the way inside the jack in 45 degree angle and then you want to lock it down all right pretty much we are almost set to go so double check make sure the keyboard everything is set ready to go here now we're going to grab the bottom cover put it right on top squeeze the side squeeze the front now what i'm going to do first i'm going to put the two screws and the long screws by the battery to hold the hinges really firmly in place well, those are the important one and i'm going to put this long one on the side here and i'm going to put one short screws right again near to the hinges so i can actually 
go ahead and open up the laptop and adjust the keyboard. Put the DVD drive in there once for all. Now we're going to open it up. We have the keyboard right in here. So we're going to put the back end of the keyboard, slide it right under the palm rest. And I'm going to hold it, put my thumb in the middle, just a little bit of gap. So I get a curvature so I can snap the side. So I can get a, this kind of curvature so I can snap these corners. And then I'm going to let go. I'm just going to push the bottom side. I'm going to hit tiny clicks. That's what you want to hear. Those tiny clicks. In here, if it's not going into its place, use a guitar pick to just adjust it. Make sure it goes all the way down. And then pull it out and it goes all the way in. This side, same thing with the hair. There we have it. All right, once we have it, we finish with this one, all you need to do is to flip it back down and put the rest of the screws all over the bottom casing. I hope you liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.